Hey, I'm Trevor New. Uh, here in uh, in Brooklyn, New York. You might hear a little bit of background noise, how it goes in the city. Uh, I'm here to talk to you about this really cool piece of technology I've been using. It's called the Mayo Armband. It's very small. Here it is. Uh, it fits on your forearm. You slide it on basically like this. And it has eight EMG sensors, which allow you to sense you know, your muscle activity, in this case in your forearm, so it has eight of those. And they all, they touch your, touch your skin pretty much and are able to feel what your muscles are doing. Uh, you can, if you really get good at it, you can make it so you can sense different hand signs and that kind of a thing. So basically it has the same stuff as your cell phone. Uh, accelerometer, gyro, and magnetometer. That's what it allows you to sense, uh, you know, different kinds of motion whether it's how fast you're moving or how much distance you're covering um, or where you are in terms of the orientation of your body, this thing can actually sense all of that stuff. And it does that by using a Bluetooth sensor um, that then you know plugs into your USB port of your computer and then allows you to be up to 50 feet away from your computer and still control all the stuff that you want to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a few of the projects that I've been using this on and uh, yeah, see what you think. I think it's, you know, it's kind of an amazing thing that allows you to, um, it allows you to work with three dimensional space in an artistic way. So that, uh, and I don't know of anything else that does that quite to this degree and is quite as durable as this. This thing also has a crazy amount of battery life. So let's check out this, uh, this show. Um, this first uh, performance I'm going to show you is Rivki Grossman. We're playing. Uh, she's a great singer uh, and and uh, works in theater. Um, really good songwriter. And this is a performance that we did at a bar in Park Slope. <laughs> So there, right, right there, she started off and immediately just moved her arm and triggered a series of filters and effects. Doorknobs, padded rooms and chairs. Rivers of hospital gowns. So I'm going to stop it real quick here. Really amazing performance. It's kind of hard for me to do that. You can see how when she's moving her arms slightly, she's triggering this very uh, slow moving filter. So what I did is I built different gradations of motion. So with the slower motion and uh, even with slower rotation, there's a filter that kind of creeps in and then kind of encapsulates the sound you hear that like uh, that vowel like what kind of <laughs> kind of thing that goes around that so I'm gonna keep going now see if you can pick that out Turning of shifts and nurses with smiles forgot who you are becoming unclear They're taking control, collide so far. Somebody, anybody who's got such a great voice. Who says it's fair? Who says it's fair? I'm naked and clothed all blue. Okay, so stopping right there, you heard that big, that low bass sound. So that is a another stage where if you move the armband, she moved it a little bit faster. Um, I was trying to simulate actually breaking through a barrier, which is what's happening in terms of how it's programmed. But it's also throwing the existing sound that I'm playing and throwing that into a series of filters that you know, then reverberate into a small delay and it, but it keeps with the, uh, the pitch of the sound that it's using. So it's actually kind of like a, a way of sampling, sampling live and then immediately manipulating it, um, through motion. Oh, 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 oh,
So what she's manipulating is any sound that I'm feeding into my delays or any effects um, for the most part. Yeah, any, anything but my actual uh, yeah. um, So anything um, but my actual sort of live acoustic sound, my dry sound, I should say. Um, and it's, it's kind of a cool thing because it kind of uh, allows it to be, uh, this organic bit that sort of exists separate from me and in a way separate from her, but she's allowed to like, she's allowed to actually touch that in a way versus it just existing out there by itself and her just sort of singing, um, with it and it reacting. There's like a direct, uh, direct connection, which is really my goal with uh, this kind of technology. So let's see, let's go forward. All right, so this is actually me, this this next video um, that I'm gonna show you. And this is at a house show. The uh, sound recording, you know, it's from a camera, so it's not like the best, the best you're, you're gonna hear. So was the last one. Ones later in the videos are gonna be a, a little bit higher quality. But I thought this was particularly interesting because this was one of the first times, I think the first time I performed solo uh, using the armband, which I have on, I don't know if you can see right here, it's on my my right forearm. And uh, yeah, it's it, it's sort of interesting because I'm, I'm also improvising, but it allows, it kind of extends what my intentions are and I can sort of dive deeper into my own music even. So let's uh, let's check that out here. Okay, so what just happened right there is I played uh, I played like a long note. I went right into the reverb, and then. As I brought my arm up, I uh, a reverb freeze w was like applied to the natural reverb that I already have on my instrument. And then as I got further out to the side, it sent uh, took that reverb freeze and then um, channeled that into channeled that into a grain delay. So basically, what's happening is I played a long note. I extend my arm out to the side. The reverb that I'm already playing into then freezes and captures the sound that I just had. As I go further out to the right, it sends that sound into a grain delay, which is in Ableton. And then I'm I'm then able to control the pitch by raising my arm up and down uh, the pitch of that delay. Uh, also, so the pitch of that delay will have its own things. I raise my arm up and down. But then uh, the <laughs> the reverb from the previous, the frozen reverb will also be going through at the same time. So there's a lot of stuff going on. There's also little rich timbre things that happen with the grain delay. We're going to keep going now. This is a good example of what I was just talking about.
yeah, so that's, <laughs> that's a pretty crazy switch. That's also, there's a separate uh, delay that uh, gets triggered as I turn to the other direction that's a lot more crushing and, and uh, sort of grinding. So we'll keep going here. Correctly, that's somebody dropping their beer. Yep, he just pointed out somebody needs to clean that up. So if you watch as my arm points further towards the ground, that reverb goes away and now it's back very loud. Yeah, so it's on a lot right now. I just kicked in a, an octave down delay. Massive sound right now, which is going to be. Yeah, let's take that away. Let's see if there's any more. All right. So that was a. I feel like that was a good example of more ambient effects uh, with the band. Uh, this next performance um, is one where I've been using it just a little bit more, and I'm going to be doing it for more. Uh, there's more time time based effects like you'll you'll sort of hear this where the sound drops out or it's just all of a sudden held and then you get plunged right back into what's happening um, I'm also manipulating the uh, the looping uh, sort of virtual looping system that I have in my computer I'm using a Mobius 2 uh, looper uh, so my the effects from my instrument are being controlled and then also the effects from the lo the loops that I've created are also being controlled so and that happens at about I believe around here Let's speed this up oh. so I'm gonna start a loop right here that's recording it and uh, right there, I'm the foot controller I'm using is the Soft Step 2 by Keith McMillan. Really awesome controller. And I'm gonna hit record. And now, all of this is going through the armband. It's a me you know immediate effect. So that's the reverb. And then watch as I turn out. there so there's a threshold if you watch my arm when it goes out to the side there's a threshold of where it goes from the one sort of reverb sound and then through a filter okay so that's like the more uh, more actionable stuff uh, in terms of just controlling it as like a still musician or a singer um, that I've been doing. So you can sort of see how that can be pretty dynamic. What we have next here is, uh, this is Gwen Gusman, uh, amazing dancer. Um, I work with her on this project called Nourishment, and we also do, uh, we also have like a duo, which is what's being uh, recorded here. And uh, just... You can pretty much watch what she's doing and see all the stuff that I've been talking about. Uh, it's really, really compelling.
can really hear how, uh, hear and see, like right there, how her movements are affecting the sound. And this is a pretty saturated part of this particular recording. Um, but if you notice, there's, it's basically 360 degrees of different options. And there was that reverb again. Yeah. So that was, she actually did a grab where if you rotate your arm, it, it uh, sort of switches off my sound and then channels it through her uh, through her gestures, actually, just like right here. And I think this is one of the more compelling things about the, uh, the setup so far is having played all this stuff and it now being whole all of the effects and extra sounds being wholly channeled through uh, a performer's movement so i'm actually gonna move ahead a little bit here just so you can see uh another example of this and this is uh, this is gwen again There's these, this is a little bit, a little bit less saturating. So there's these very nuanced sort of movements that she's doing that are, that are being translated into these very small and particular ways. So at this point, I've actually turned um, the armband off. You can pretty much tell that. But yeah, what a great way to end that. Um, yeah, so <laughs> uh, one of the things... Oh. <laughs> uh, so one of the things that... Um, so one of the things that's really great about these performances, even apart from the arm band, is that none of these are really uh, rehearsed so much. They're all, it's all pretty much uh, a type of improvisation. And uh, that is then, you know, being controlled by the arm band. And I think within, within improvisation, giving, giving some, uh, having a tool that just is specifically there to, uh, provide even more uh, another way to show what your intentions are that can become a really powerful to, uh, tool so but on top of that if you actually rehearse things if you're doing like a like a, you know a really specific uh, theater project with a script and you know with blocking and all of that this would be a really great tool because it's really dependable and you can program exactly what you want to have happen when something specific happens. Uh, what I've kind of shown you right now is sort of a, uh, it's uh, what happens when you have like a continuous flow of information and different thresholds within inside of that, but that's all, that's all one type of uh, 
information that this thing is able to put out. The other ways you can use it, you can use what's called classifiers, which is uh, once you get to a specific space um, or when, when you get within a, a, a series of data points, something happens. There's like a trigger. Basically, if you arrive at a certain spot in the space, something happens. The third thing that uh, another thing you can do is called, uh, is it temporal mapping? or uh, temporal warping, I believe it's called, uh, which is basically making a sign. Like if I make a triangle, that will trigger something. So that's something that I'm working on, and I have a few examples of that that I will probably show in a different video because it's, um, it's pretty involved in terms of what that is. But there's a lot of really great things that I think can really, that can be done with this, um, with this, this instrument in a sense it really is uh an instrument and um yeah if you have any questions about how i'm doing what i'm doing feel free to uh to message me or get in touch uh, my website is trevenue.com my email is there um instagram is also a good way to get in touch with me that's uh vox viola v-o-x-v-i-o-l-a and uh yeah thanks for you know, thanks for watching, and I hope it's something that's interested, uh, interesting to you. And um, yeah, hope you have a, a good day. It's hot out here in uh, in Brooklyn.